Colossians 1 and verse 23. He said that ye be grounded and settled in the hope of the gospel that you be not removed from the gospel that was preached unto you and preached unto every creature under heaven of who I, Paul, I am a minister. In 1 Peter 5 from verse 8 to verse 10 he said be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding the work of God and be, say, be, be sober and vigilant. He said for your advice with the devil, go out about like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. Whom resist steadfastly, knowing that the same affliction is accomplished in all your brethren throughout the world. And verse 10, he says that the God of all grace, who has called you to eternal glory, he has called you to eternal glory, he said in Christ Jesus, after you have suffered a while, make you perfect, strengthen, establish, and settle you. The place where we went now, the Bible says there are a multitude of people and they came to hear the gospel of Jesus. And the first thing he did, he made them to sit on green grass. I thank God that I don't serve a dry God. I serve a fresh God. I serve a God of freshness. Anytime you see dryness, it has to do with the devil. In Matthew 12, 43, in Luke 11, 24, when a demon is cast out of a man, he goes about the dry places. Dryness is not of God. And that is why God wants to make somebody sit down on green grass. Every aspect of your life that has been dry all this while, every aspect of your marriage that has been dry all this while, every aspect of your finance that has been dry all this while, every aspect of your children's life that has been dry all this while, I prophesy freshness. I decree you shall be fresh. If your amen is louder, you are the one I'm speaking to. If your amen is louder, you are the one I just spoke to. Hey, the Bible said they ran after him. I am laying a foundation for your settlement. I am building the brick for your emancipation. I am laying a foundation. Don't do that. Drop that in the bowl there. I am laying a foundation for your settlement. I'm laying that for your emancipation. The Bible said they ran after him. One of the biggest problem we have in this day and time, in this age and generation, we have people who are running after things. Some are running after miracle. Some are running after testimony. Some are running after breakthrough. Only few are running after him. No wonder Paul said in Philippians 3 and verse 10 that I may know him and the power of his resurrection in Psalm 42 and verse 1. He says, my soul panted hard after you in Psalm 63 and from verse 1 to verse 2. Oh God, thou art my God. Holy will I seek thee in the morning. My soul tested after thee and my flesh longer after thee. In the land where no water is to see thy power and thy glory as I've seen thee in the sanctuary. They were running after him. Somebody say, I'm ready to run after him. Not after things, not after miracle, not after prosperity. After him is to run after him. And they were running for him, running after him. I'm laying the foundations for your settlement. And they were running after him. And Jesus looked at them and he said, He said, When shall we buy bread? He didn't say, When shall we borrow bread? The money is available. It is the bread we are looking for. The problem you have is that many times you see bread, but there is no money. This time Jesus said, money is on ground. It is bread we are looking for. That tells me that the Jesus I know was a Jesus that had money with him. If you read Luke 22, 35, he said, when I sent you, did you take any post? Did you take any script? He said, let yet you lack nothing. In other words, when I sent you, you didn't need to bother to check your bank account because I gave you raw cash. Am I speaking to somebody here? Through prosperity shall my cities be spread abroad. He said, when 
shall we buy bread? Money is not a problem. When shall we buy bread? Am I speaking to someone? He said, we can't send them to go hungry. They came to hear the gospel from Jesus. And when he was through preaching, they needed to return. He said, we can't let them go empty. You can't serve God and be empty-handed. You can't serve God and be stranded. In Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21, he said, when they leave, they shall not leave empty. Am I speaking to somebody? You only go empty when you go out of God. Like Naomi left God. When Naomi left God, when she returned back to Bethlehem, after spending years in Moab, she said, I went fool, but I came empty. When you go out of God, you have initiated emptiness. There is an element that God gives to those who follow him. It is God's favor. It's an element that God gives to those who follow him. In Esther chapter 2 and verse 5, Esther chapter 2 and verse 17, Esther chapter 5 and verse 2, Esther chapter 5 and verse 8, Esther chapter 7 and verse 3, Esther chapter 8, and verse 5, Esther said, if I have of a man that prevents him from being empty, when favor rests on a man's life, his settlement is guaranteed. Favor is when God relegates regulation. Favor is when God shatters and destroys protocol. Favor is when God reverses the order and sequence of events. Am I speaking to somebody here? He says they can't go empty and dead. And he met the disciples. And the disciples gave him every reason why the people should not get a testimony. Sir, I need you to understand loud and clear. No matter how people claim to like you, they won't want you to rise more than them. And that is why when they carry that man by the gates of beautiful, they like him. They carried him from the house, but they left him at the gate while they entered inside. Stop thinking people are telling you their secret. They are only telling you the secret they want you to no, but there's something about their rising that they can never tell you. People may love you, but nobody wants you better than him. I heard a prayer that people said the prayer. He said every parent prays that the child should be better than them. That's not true. Every good parent, there are some parents that don't want their children to rise more than them. I'm talking of biological parents. When their children are rising, their stomach turns. When their children are excelling, their stomach turns. Hear me, child of God. The disciples were offended. They were angry. Why will you waste your time on these people? But like I said, no matter how angry you are at my dream, if you don't bow in Israel, you will bow in Egypt. No matter how angry you are at my dream, I will get to a level where you cannot frustrate that dream. I don't need to interpret it or ask you for interpretation. It will interpret it itself. The Bible said many years later, when the brothers of Joseph saw Joseph, Joseph was speaking to an interpreter. They needed someone to interpret what he was saying. Because when your level change, your language change. Am I speaking to somebody? When your level change, your language change. So they needed an interpreter because Joseph was speaking billion, billion. They didn't understand that language. He was speaking million, million. They didn't understand that language. But that was not their level. Am I talking to somebody? right now. The power that fights your settlement will be crushed today. When you desire to be settled, you must fight two, three battles. I'll give you two, three, and then we pray. The first one is the power of evil conditions. The Bible says, they said, this is a desert place. A power of evil condition. Sir, in any condition, there can be an air condition. In every condition, there can be a turnaround of situation. I know you are facing a terrible condition. Sir, don't look at your condition. Focus on your destination. For everyone with a destination, there must be an antagonistic condition. If you have a destination, there must be a resistive condition. If you have a destination, there must be a confrontational condition. But hear me and hear me well. If God pulled a man out of the pit, he will pull you out of the pit. If God opened the eyes of a blind, he will open your own eyes. You don't serve a dead God. You serve a 
Almighty God is the same yesterday, is the same today, is the same forever. When God says yes, no man can say no. When God lifts you up, no man can bring you down. God is on your side. Power is on your side. Glory is on your side. Rip the wind shot. Take your seat. When you look on the present, you lose his presence. When you look on the present, you lose his present. Am I talking to someone here? Your condition is not your conclusion. No matter what you're experiencing now, it's not the end of the race. It's not the end of the race. The battles you are going through, the limitations you are seeing, the mountains and the high waters that raise up themselves as it were, are only a stepping stone for the confirmation of your prophecy. The challenge of your life is what will add beauty to your testimony. It is part of the chapter in the book of your success. So do not totally give up or round up where God has not rounded up. Am I speaking to somebody right now? This thing that is happening to you now is part of the testimony. If Eli had not been part of, of uh, uh, Hannah's testimony, if Anna testified, Ella would have doubted. Ella was part of it. When Anna was praying like a drunken woman, Anna was praying like somebody who was drunk and wasted. Ella I knew that this woman is somebody who had grievance in her soul. Am I communicating right now? Your present challenges and limitations and battles of life is a part of the beauty that will come forth when your testimonies emerge. Is a part of the beauty that will come forth when your breakthrough manifest is a part of the beauty that will show up when heaven decides to smile on your life am i speaking to somebody now why we look not on the things which are seen for the things which are seen are temporal but the things we don't see are in Am I speaking? For we walk by faith, Romans 5 and verse 7, and not by sight. So no matter what I see now, it is of no value compared to the God I can see. If this is all the devil has to offer, then the devil has lost the battle. Satan, bring on your worst. My God has kept for me the best. Bring on your worst. My God has kept for me the best. Am I communicating right now? Hey. Never open your mouth and say what I'm going through. What you should say is what I'm growing through. Believers don't go through, we grow through. If you are a child of destiny, bad things don't happen to you. You happen to bad things. Look at the end of the day, the bad things bow to you. Meaning, never say I'm suffering, say I'm growing. Am I talking to somebody? Never say things are hard. Say things are happening. I wish I was talking to somebody now. So, what you are saying now is your condition. Where you are going is your destination. In John chapter 5, if you read verse 1, the Bible says, after this, there was a feast. After this. After this challenge. After this limitation. After this battle, after this battle, after this hardship, after this question, oh, put your hand, let me prophesy. I stand as a servant of Elohim. I stand as a generational prophet. I stand as a general who God has taken to thick and thin. And I make a decree on your life that after this celebration hits you. 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 If your amen is louder, you're the one I'm talking to. The power of evil condition. Number two, the power of delay. The power of delay. The set of Jesus. I'm telling you, if you must be settled. In verse 35, the A part. The set of Jesus. The time is far past. There is one thing about God. When you start working with God, you must get to understand that God lives in eternity, not the time zone. It's called the ancient of days. 
A day is like a thousand years, a thousand years is like a day. God lives in eternity. There's no work clock in heaven. God has no AM or PM. He lives in eternity. Delay! In other words, they said the time is far past. Child of God, delay must be confronted. Delay must not be accepted. Don't let people come with all kinds of lies and parables that delay is not denier. You are joking. If you don't confront delay, it will become denier. Am I speaking to somebody? A patient dog eat the fattest bone. Now you not the chop bone. A patient dog, now you not the chop bone. There are times you must understand that you take what is yours. The Bible says, satisfy me and with thy mercy. Do you know why you have a child early? Why you are still young? Your child looks like your friend. Am I speaking to somebody here? Born early. Marry early. Get money early. Am I speaking to somebody here? When you become a millionaire at 70, how many years will you enjoy it? Abraham had a child at a hundred. No wonder he could not attend his wedding because he was too old. Satisfy me early. Give me money early bless me early am i talking to somebody here the reason people live a life of waste is because they just stumbled into money those who have had there's something money old money does it brings wisdom every man who became rich early and is still rich is a motivational speaker he has been around money he has seen money he has controlled money money has made him no friends and enemies bless me early Am I talking to somebody here? Am I communicating here? Bless me, Ellie. Give me a husband, Ellie. Give me a wife, Ellie. Give me a child, Ellie. In every, in, you see, in every tribe, people go with their sons and their daughters to get married. Abraham was too old. He sent his servants. Why? Because even when Isaac, Isaac, Abraham got a child late. Isaac got to 40 and was not planning marriage. The father was concerned. At 40, delay is when you become a community concern. The spirit of delay is when you become a concern to your siblings, a concern to your family, except yourself. And they are more, they are more concerned that you are not concerned. The father said, he said, please, this is my son. The way I'm looking at him, he has no plan for marriage. Take and when the servant was going, the servant said, this one the father has handed over to me, please, angel, follow me. There are certain kind of delay to crush it, you need angelic intervention. This one, angels have to follow me. Because this guy is not ready to get married. And he found the daughters of Jethro. And the Bible says, when they found this daughters, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. He said there were seven of them. They went out. And he saw one called Rebecca carrying a pitcher. And she began to give drink. 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 Why? The business Isaac had was that Isaac dealt on wells. His business was to dig wells so the servant knew that the woman that shall fetch water drawn from a well for this camel that will become the wife of my master because Isaac was a digger of well he needed a woman who understand the dynamics of operating a well so she went to the, to the well to also draw water you marry people of like minds am I talking to somebody so God gave Rebecca a man that was settled and balanced one that the father was blessed when the father had walked with God I don't I don't like when people see husband and they say God has given me the bone of my bone sir don't marry bone of bone Adam said bone of bone and flesh of flesh there are many bone without flesh you don't need bone of your bone you need flesh of your flesh when Ezekiel was prophesying in Ezekiel 37 he said he commanded flesh to enter the bone don't marry bone of bone until is flesh of flesh. When you marry bone, there is no money. You marry bone, you can't pay rent. You marry bone, you can't help your sibling. Yes, it's bone of bone, but wait, let him be flesh of flesh. Am I talking to somebody right now? As I pray, I came to Delta State with anger in my spirit. Everyone been delayed here. Every 
see yoke of delay in your life, in the life of your siblings, in the life of your parents, in the life of your children, I crush it. I say I crush it. Somebody say no more delay. Say no more delay. Say no more delay. Delay can become denier. In Exodus 32, when Moses delayed to come down from the mountain, the people went into the golden calf. Delay can push men to idolatry. Delay can put men to argue with God. Delay can push men to say, where is my God? Delay can push men into alternatives. Delay can push men into other gods. Delay is not of God. What God wants to do for your life is to give you speed. For you to settle, you must have speed. Somebody say, I receive speed. Say, oh Lord, settle me. Give me speed. Give me speed. In verse 36, they said to Jesus, send them away. I'm going to just stop here and then we pray. You must handle the power of evil condition, the power of delay, and that you must frustrate the power of rejection. Rejection is a satanic onslaught that is kept on every destiny path of a glorious child. Joseph went through rejection. Moses went through rejection. Those that rejected Moses were those he helped. He was killing for Israelites. The Israelites were the ones that stood up against him. Rejection is the last straw and the last rung on the ladder of greatness. If you have never experienced rejection, then you are not close to greatness. The last class you must graduate from to enter the degree of greatness is rejection. There you are rejected by those you have blessed. You are rejected by those you have helped. And the highest level of rejection is family rejection. There are many of you now, your families, are, they don't call you on phone. You just left the house at a young age and you live alone. Nobody calls you, nobody checks after you. Nobody bothers about you. Because they feel there is nothing you have. Because failure is an orphan. Success has many relatives. You got married to somebody they feel they don't like. So because of that, they ostracize you. They cut you off. They disconnected from you. They withdrew from you. You started a ministry. That was not what they expected. They withdrew from you. They ostracized you. But by God, is about to shock them. The disciples say, send them away. How dare you? These guys have been with Jesus for three days listening to him. Now they were hungry. You say you should send them away. We live in a generation of users. People who will use you and kick you out. People who will use you and they don't care about your feelings. They don't care about how you survive. I'm not talking to somebody here. Many have been used by husbands. Now the man is standing. You are no more pleasurable and attractive. Many have been used by their wives. Am I speaking now? She has made money. You are off. In, a man told me, say, help me. That was two days ago. Pray for me. He said, in my house, I wash plates. Because the wife had money. How did the wife make money? It was through him. He loved her so much. Gave her so much. In millions, in tens of millions. She started a business. As her business was going up, his own was going down. His own went down. He said, I, when I had the word, he said, I wash plates. Sir, washing plate is not a problem. But it should be by choice. Chores should be by choice. I'm not asking your husband, have you washed the plate? Have you swept? The woman will be outside till 1 a.m. Is the man that takes care of the children. He will be calling her number, will be busy. He will call her, she will have switch off the phone. When he comes, where are you coming from? How do you think I make money? Please, please, please go and sleep. Where's my food? The man says on the dining. The man. And the man said, Sir, help me. Pray for me. Say, I don't need money from you, sir. Pray for me. This is not how I wash. I've given over 90 million for a business. He said, No, I have nothing. She has forgotten. He said, Pray for me. When I heard all that, my stomach turned. I said, This world is terrible. You suddenly forgot a man who made you what you are. He said, The sisters will come to him and they will humiliate. She bought cars for them. The husband doesn't have one. She built houses. The husband doesn't have one. And the man's heart is boiling. Yeah, the man made it. You think God is asleep? 
Why do you think that many soft women who become well, they become afflicted? Because heaven is grieved. By reason of the sudden rejection, there are children today who are born by wealthy parents. I wish I was talking here. Let me tell you this. There's somebody in this country. If you count the first one, two, three richest men in this country, he's among them. One of the children came to me and said she needs help. I said, what's your name? She mentioned, I mentioned the last name. I said, okay, are you related to this person? He said, no, he's my father. I said, shut, shut up. Everybody likes to call a rich man the father. And she brought the photograph when she was small, when the man carried her. She said, this is my, it's my father. I said, you're looking for how much? She don't understand. He had my mother, he had me for my mother outside wedlock. The, the hatred he has for my mom, he has transferred the hatred to me. I started a business that was doing well. He said, he called the people in charge that they should close the warehouse. He hates my mother. He hates me. I said, wait, this person is your father. I said, biological father brought me to this world. Sir, you may be blaming the man, but there is something called rejection following the girl. Hey, you may blame the people. People want to help you. All of a sudden, they turn their backs on you. Sir, it's not them. It is you. There is something that says, no, you can't rise in your family. There's something that says, no, you can't become the helper that the family is looking for. How dare you meet such a person? How dare you hang around such a person? So issues begin to rise. Matters begin to come up. And at the end of the day, it is targeted against you to see that you are never helped. Stand on your feet wherever you are. We are going to declare war in the realms of the spirit now. Are you ready? Say, my father, my father. Shout it loud and clear. Every evil condition in which I have found myself, turn it around. Turn it around. Turn it around. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Open your mouth. Turn it around. Jesus. Every evil condition. Turn it around, my father. Every evil condition. Hey, financially, materially, maritally, health wise, status wise, destiny wise, ministry wise. Turn it around. <laughs> In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hey! Who is ready to tear down the garment of delay? As we take this, listen to me, listen to me. Listen to me. Everything I do in my work with God, I do it with my heart, my whole life. If you are praying, pray with your life. Pray as if your life depends on it. We're going to take this as we take this prayer. If you are a man, woman, boy, girl, and down your family history, there has been that yoke of delay. As we are praying, there will be reactions here. There will be reactions on your siblings where they are. The power of God will fall upon you like fire. Amen. And God is going to be taking away that old garment, that garment of delay. God will begin to pull it off your body. Are you ready to pray? Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. Shout it loud and clear. My father, my father. In the name of Jesus. As I begin to pray, as I begin to pray, the yoke of delay. The garment of delay. Fighting my life. Fighting my life. I slow in my speed. Catch fire. Open your mouth and fire. Fire. 
Finally, say, my father, my father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I didn't hear you. In the name of Jesus. As I begin to pray, turn my rejection to celebration. Turn my rejections to celebration. Turn my rejection to celebration. Open your mouth and fire prayer. As I'm worshiping, rise up. You couldn't see. As I'm worshiping, start saying. If you're blind, you're deaf, dumb. In the midst of this, who is queen? Who is queen? I'm seeing somebody kind of tall, huge. Peter. Is that your name? Is that your name? What's your name? Glorify Emmanuel. Take if you are taking the mic there, take it there. If you don't take it there, go back. 
What's your name, madam? Queen Peter, sir. Can you take three steps to me? Now, this is where it happens. If you are sick in body, you came here sick. Whether you have faith or not, so long you are here. My faith is stronger than your doubt. So long you enter, forget about your faith, don't worry, don't worry. My faith can take everyone. It's strong. So if you are, I saw some, see somebody in the wheelchair. Any one of you is unable to walk, you start walking. You are blind, you start seeing. You are deaf, you start hearing. Anywhere you are, this is just the beginning. Tonight, we are going to get everyone down here. This is just the beginning. We are just starting the meeting. Any form of disease or affliction right now, say, in the name of Jesus, it disappears. Let us glorify Emmanuel. Let us glorify Emmanuel. Let us glorify him and Miracles! Miracles! Now, the glory of God is here. Who is fit? You have, you have something to do with Orogo. Orogo. Are you from Orogo? Lady, you are from Orogo too? Is your name Faith? Emmanuel. You are from. Sister, sister, sister. Orogo. Blessed be your name. What of you are from Morogo? You are from Morogo? Mademoiselle was born there. What about you? My father is from Morogo. A Megware. A Megware, yes. Who is a Megware? It's my father. Take two steps. Lift your hand. Can I pray for you? Your time has come. Stand up. The grace of God is upon me. And my eyes are open. I saw you in the spirit realm, lady. Look at me. Look at me. I saw in the spirit realm. God said, I should pray for you. Today is going to change your story. Are you following me? Yes, yes. Today is going to change your story. I, I, I saw in the realm of the spirit, I see you and I see a man, but I saw there's a separation in the realm of the spirit. And I'm asking the Lord, what is going on? I saw a man in the spirit. On 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 Male so proto bahada kasha ke ti ti te te. I'm seeing him driving. Hold on, hold on. It's not a car. Hold on. It's like transportation. Like keke. Yes, keke. I saw in the realm of the spirit this one. Don't call him your husband here because I'm not seeing the diary. I saw his family controlling him. Yes. They say you should not pay your diary yet. Yes. That there's something they are watching. Yes. Now I need to tell you what God is showing me. The problem you are having now in your life. God is going to bless your family. Amen. When you get back, tell your husband that I said where you are staying now. Pack out. We are ready to pack. Can I finish? No. I see where you are staying now. Pack out. Okay. Okay, I should explain to you. Yes. I should explain. Yes. I see something like a factory. A factory. Yes. If you get to this factory, I'm seeing they are producing rubber. Yes. I see rubber. Yes. I see a place like in Wake Pokpok. Yes. In Wake Pokpok. 
then you go behind unnorian 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 men you say you are packed out can i go on yes. you pack to a wrong place what i'm telling you now i saw look at what's happening to you i saw a woman from your family i saw you pregnant i saw you pregnant you are quiet now i thought you argue yes, with me yes no i'm not arguing i saw you pregnant as you were pregnant this lady called you on the phone and you both of you spoke she thanked god with you the pregnancy continued lasted it was time to deliver you went you entered the place to deliver the baby died yes sir you got pregnant again this lady greeted you deliver you enter delivery the baby died they will wait till you get to deliver the baby that now your husband's people said you should wait that if they don't see a child they should not pay your diary true yes that they must see a diary before they pay your child yes they must see a child rather before they pay your diary yes now listen to me the place where if i say this if i say this if i say this the place where you live is not a house help me woman come and touch this altar with your two hands can your husband come this evening? Can you bring him? I will, I will continue when he comes. I will continue when he comes. Oh, Lord. Who is Agnes? Who is Agnes? I'm wasting your time. Who is Agnes? Billy. 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 Miracles all over this place. Who wants to tear down the garment of delay? And we will sing. We will sing. We will sing. We will sing. We will say. We will say. That you are good. That you are good. We will say. That you are good. All the miracles you've done has brought us joy. All the hopes we have, we place in you right now. I release the spirit of miracles. Lady. No, not you. You, come. You are looking behind. It's you. Lift your hand. You, are, you cry too much. It has to stop. Yes, sir. Can you hear me? You cry, you cry, 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 cry. Why is this man making you cry? This husband. That's why you are crying. Yes. It's because of him. Yes, Sometimes when we know some, you see, you met this man very young. Yes, sir. You met this man. God blessed him. Yes. But you didn't know a lot of things. You now knew later. Yes, you discovered sir. that there was a wife. Yes, sir. There was another wife. Yes, sir. You later found that there were two wives. Yes, sir. Two wives. You didn't know. Yes. You entered and there was this promise. That no, 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 no. I'm stopping. Just you. Eh? Yes, sir. You enter. After you married another one. Yes, sir. Married another one. Yes. Married another one. Yes, sir. Married another one. Yes. Now it's seven. Yes. Quarrel, pack out. Quarrel, pack out. Yes, listen, sir. listen to me. He said that one day you thought it was a joke. You pack out. You were expecting he would call you back. He didn't call you. Pack out two. Yes, sir. Pack out three. Yes, sir. Pack out four. Yes, sir. Pack out five. Oh, you have God. packed out six times. You have packed out seven times. Mm -hmm. You have packed out eight times. You have packed out nine times. Mm -hmm. You have packed out ten times. If as I'm talking now, you are out. Yes, sir. If I, you just packed out last week. Hold on! Atiga, gatiga, gatiga, gatiga. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. Pick the woman up. 
I don't know how to pray for you. I don't know how to pray for you. When you saw two there, you should not have entered. I don't know how to pray for you. Come. Lift your hand. Lady, there, where's your mother? Where's your mother? Go and bring her. I want to ask her a question. I go cause problem for you today. Is that your biological mother? Eh? Yes, sir. Mama, how are you? I'm fine. God bless you, Mama. Who are those two? My, my younger one children. From... Okay, it's all right. Mama, how are you? I'm fine. Are you sure? Mama, are you fine? I'm fine. Mama, are you fine? I'm fine. Are you sure? <laughs> hey, since I'm since as I'm a living person, I know that I'm fine. Okay. 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 Bola la baya 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 Lady, stand this way. Can I pray for you? You are confused. Listen to me. Listen to me. You are confused. And you don't know what happened to your life. Yes, sir. Let me pray for you. I receive this, sir. What are you receiving? Allow me talk now. Calm down. I'm wasting your time. Woman, I saw you in the realm of the spirit with a man. And I saw both of you. I saw that you got pregnant. And you were pregnant. This pregnancy was there. The first one, two, three months pains. All right? Yes. Go to the fourth month, the fifth month. Yes, sir. The sixth, seventh, eighth. Yes, sir. You enter nine months, enter yes, ten months. Yes, sir. Enter eleven months, yes, enter twelve. Yes, sir. Thirteen months. Yes, sir. Fourteen, yes, sir. fifteen, yes, sir. sixteen, yes, sir. seventeen, yes, sir. eighteen, yes, sir. nineteen, yes, sir. twenty, yes, sir. twenty-one months. Yes, sir. He got to twenty-two, twenty-three, yes, twenty-four months. When he got to twenty-four months, the baby vanished. Yes, sir. Mama, are you aware? I only heard it. You only heard it? Yes. Okay. Mama, you do something. Girl, kneel down. Mama, please, she's your daughter. Pray for her. Put the mic in my mouth. Mama, you say what I say. You are the mother. Pray for her. Okay. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Whoever ate my daughter's baby. Whoever had my daughter baby die. Died. I didn't say diet. Say die. Die. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In 72 hours. In 72 hours. Let the God of Elijah. Let the God of Elijah. That answer by fire. Let it answer by fire. That answer by fire. That answer by fire. Answer this prayer. Answer this prayer. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Lady, stand up. Come with Mama this evening. Come with Mama tomorrow morning. Come with Mama tomorrow evening. So that we'll be praying. We'll be praying. That's all. Just be coming with her. Now, now, can I talk? You don't have transport. Eh? I go give you. Transport, I go give you. You must come. How much be your transport? Okay, my children, they, they go give you. They come with her. They carry and they come. I didn't come to Ogeli because I'm looking for where to go. God told me, go to Ogeli. Okay, so what will happen here tonight? One of the things my heart is against, and if anyone who is a son 
to me. One of the things you notice about them, they don't, they don't, they hate wickedness. When you see them minister, you see anger in their system. Anyone planted in your family that has a hand in your bed, they die. Tear the garment of delay. Yes. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Oh. Father, wherever my daughter is, my 